So yeah, as you heard, I'm uh, Jean Marcel Fricke, and um, I'm gonna do a short presentation of this unit, pretty much. Um, um, it's its own drum computer, pretty much, and uh, we developed it for over a year as the next level drum machine. Uh, after our Transpar One was quite successful. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna start and let you hear about it. And afterwards, uh, you can ask me some questions. And uh, yeah, let's go.
yeah, this is the MFB Tanzberg 2. It has been out for about a year now. Um, it's our newest drum machine. The MK1 has not been um, continued anymore because we wanted to focus on this machine, basically. Um, the difference between, well, there's a big difference be between the first one and the second one because this one also includes like sample voices or better said, we have eight full analog drums or drum sounds and you have like eight sample based crashes, close high head rides, everything that you need basically, but you can also exchange it by yourself because we have our own plugin that you just connect the device with it. You see where the sample slots are and you just drag and drop them. And uh, maybe the most important thing about it is that they, even though these three voices are sample based, they also have a full analog filter in it. So they will get their own touch when you will use them. Um, you can choose actually between uh, low pass or bypass filter. So the pos possibilities that you have to use and to actually evolve sound and eventually get sound that you wouldn't expect to, ex to have suddenly um, is like really high. So there are, um, yeah many possibilities on it you have pretty much um yeah a full drum rack and also like a part of it that you can really like made it make it your own instrument in a way that you can put your own sample in as i said already and um really work them with the parameters that i give you here so there are always many possibilities to really have unexpected beats happening basically and you will don't know how to, you made them actually because yeah i mean if you put on the transport 2 on google the first thing that comes up is like oh my god it's so hard to understand oh my god it's so hard to really like get the beat with it and i think so no that's not actually the case because um, that's why I'm actually here also today. <laughs> but um, so what you mainly need to do when it comes to this device, there are only what I think two simple steps to really just like start with it and working with it. And this two steps are called uh, step mode, which you can set pretty easy. And in, in this, uh, which why you now have a display here is because to make it easier for you to exit this device so you know what you're doing you know in which track you are you know in which instruments you want to work right now so the first thing is the step mode because in this mode pretty much you can always record your own parameters in the manual mode no pari parameters will be recorded only so everything as it's now in the manual mode will be played as that. But if you're in step mode, you will have different possibilities to really like use knob recording, use parameter logs, especially like if you have like two to three different steps that you wanna like change the sound of it, like let me show you with this one. You can like enter the voice too that I'm actually in it. And now it's changed to the parameters where they are. Maybe. And then.
and evolve from that basically. Um, yeah, so that are pretty much the easiest steps. Maybe what I wanted to tell is also like people don't get how to really like make it work like a 909 or 808, but uh, like on the 909 it's called the uh, re record mod. I think now we also called it here re record mod. Before that, it was raw record, and people were like kind of not really sure about what it really means but it only means like if you have pretty much if you start without anything you would set the real record mode yes select it and then I will delete this pattern and then you're empty but you can simply start it it what I wanted to tell and uh, to show you because it's really not a hard machine to get you might I don't think even you might get lost in it or you may be lost in it because of the sound that it was but this is why we implant implemented the display because we wanted to really like have the users see what they're in basically so once you're in the, into the instrument and in step editing mode, as I am right now, you see in the display, yeah, it's open high hat So I'm only working with the open high hat I'm not working with anything else. I'm only working with the open high hat And this is how we meant basically the whole thing, you know. Each instrument can be edited and it's all once you're in editing mode. So there are really no, like there are so many possibilities to build up sound and to make sound evolve on its own that you wouldn't be expecting it and uh, yeah so that's one thing <laughs> the other thing is like we have two other MIDI tracks on here so you can connect another synth maybe a modular synth if you have like a MIDI to CV converter you connect it to that and send even notes from the unit to your modular system and let the modular system play what you want to hear. And uh, that's also one special thing about it because you now have also a synth. You didn't have a synth before that. Um, you had them, but there are only like basic voices because they only were meant to you while you were playing live to really like li pre-listen what you were going to play with your synth. So now we have your own synth in it, and um, th the keys are made eventually like a real keyboard. So, really, like if you want to have high notes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can just. This like the only difference into handling this unit at all is like the synth is programmed differently than the main instruments because it is put in chromatically I think I said it right <laughs> and that's why we also put it as a keyboard so you can pretty much
yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> what I wanted to show and to explain and uh, if you have any further questions I'm here for you and uh, yeah So, yes. Uh, I see you have a MIDI input as well. Yes. So what can you control through this MIDI input? Is yeah, we have MIDI. Yeah. We have MIDI CCs in it, so you can also connect it to your Ableton or whatever kind of DAV you're using. You can control it with it. And yeah, so you also can put like your keyboard in it if you're just like a classical beat maker, basically. So you just connect it and you can put your own beats without actually using the unit. You play the bass synthesizer maybe as well? Yes, you are also to you are also able to do that. Nice. And what other possibilities are to manipulate the samples? Um pretty much you have the knob recording as I said. So, let me s show you ex an example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you now into editing mode, and what you can do is like press right now. Mm -hmm. Then you can also add like flams into it. Or you can also add an LFO. Yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> yes. So when you're doing the switch between manual and stem mode, yes. can you do that on like a per track basis? So you have your automation going for everything else, but then switch to manual for one so you can do like a sweep or something like that? So I have my pad I'm running. Step mouse. I always press record and the instrument I want to choose from. And now you see the steps that I've set before. Then I can. and put like this like the positive thing about the parameter log. Like I had my preset of steps. But now I set new ones and it really just like puts you in an option of sound of the sound working pretty much. So I didn't change anything pretty much on the surface. But it just made itself pretty much running on its own. And I would just leave it as like that if I wanna do a pattern. Press on instrument select, save the settings, and that's it. Welcome. So one question about the se sequencer. Yes. Uh, you change, uh, uh, chain patterns, make songs. Yeah, yeah, you can for sure chain patterns. 
length of... Uh, yes, we have like the... La like you pretty much can for each instrument. You can also set like its last step, so step length. You can. That's what I did while I was performing. Like maybe it's like um, it's better than to show with like the snare. And then I can just set to that step. And now it's set already to O2 because I changed that, but I cannot. just like have different opportunities to change your sound inside. 